The list vying for the Halton Riding seat in Queens Park reached its eighth name, but only five candidates showed up for the first scheduled debate of the provincial election. Talking about the issues in Oakville on September 13th was the incumbent candidate Ted Chudley. Also present were challengers from the Liberal Party, Indira Naidu Harris, Nick Spore from the NDP, and the Freedom Party of Ontario's Gina Vandenberg, and Phil Buck. Buck is an independent candidate whose only priority this election is better health care. Attendance was weak at the debate, which took place in a banquet hall outside of the riding's borders on Spears Road. Halton is an electoral district that includes North Oakville, North Burlington, and all of the town of Milton. Close to 20 years, I mean, about 18 and a half or something like that now. Yeah. And it's been amazing, you know what, my life here. We came here for five years, we thought it was the five-year plan, and the next thing we know, we bought our first house here, we're raising a family here. Well, I was uh, born and raised, uh, actually born in the hospital over here. Um, it's kind of a favorite anecdote of mine to say that uh, you know, we're talking about the upcoming expansion. Well, uh, I was born into a system that was already unable to help me. Uh, I, was, I, I was rushed to Joseph Brandt in Burlington only two hours after I was born because they didn't have the equipment to deal with a uh, preemie, a premature baby. So uh, already at that time, I feel, in uh, 1987 when I was born, uh, that the, the town didn't have a big enough hospital. Uh, after graduating high school in, in Ontario, I went to Michigan State University. Uh, I graduated there in 1965 with a, a Bachelor of Science degree. Um, not, uh, there was a specialty in, uh, in apples, which is a pomology degree. Um, uh, being Chudley, you have to graduate in, uh, in apples. Uh, my family first moved to Halton in, um, in 1954, when my father purchased the farm on Highway 25. Uh, personally, I've lived in Halton since 1971. Bought a farm on the fourth line, and, uh, where I raised my family. Uh, my kids were graduating; they were starting to graduate high school and college, and uh, looking for work. And work was very hard to find. I was looking around for uh, somebody that I could support to run for politics. Uh, I couldn't find anyone, and someone suggested I should do it myself. I studied uh, political science, politics in university, so uh, you know, mostly uh, concentrating on uh, you know international relations, but also some public policy stuff. And then uh, moved into journalism, and, and basically kind of fell into it. It was kind of interesting. Oh, so nice to see you. What are you taking? Uh, a master's in environmental studies, um, but I do have a master's in political studies, and that is my my BA as well, political science. So that does kind of answer your question as well. I, I do have uh, five years of explicitly political studies, and my environmental studies is actually geared towards political stuff, policy. I was very taken by, uh, by uh, some of the liberal uh, candidates and the liberal politicians that I met. Uh, I found that there was a sincerity in sort of what they were trying to do when it came to uh, um, you know, healthcare, education, uh, the, the belief that we are all one community together. People are very concerned about Ontario. They're concerned about the, uh, about the direction the province is going in. They're, uh, they're very concerned about their, uh, the tax levels that they are experiencing. Um, it's, uh, it's amazing how people uh, have a feel that they're, uh, they're, they're, they're not as much money in their pocket and they have a pretty good idea where it's going. Um, they know that uh, their tax rates are going up, they know that the, the cost of electricity is taking a huge whack out of their pockets, um, and those are, those are two things that uh, are, are, are very prevalent in, in going door to door. I think if any voter sits down and looks at the track record, they have to ask themselves, is there a choice? There, there is no other choice other than this government. We cannot have uh, take a step back. We have to be moving forward. We have to move forward as a community, as a province, and we have to move forward together. We really need to allow space for people our age or young and younger, even lower than voting age, to really feel comfortable with the idea of politics. It shouldn't be something that's 
abstract, out of our grasp, intimidating. I'm looking forward to, uh, to uh, restructuring Ontario once again, making it a have province rather than a have not province, uh, taking it into the 21st century with, uh, with vigour, uh, getting rid of the kind of uh, uh, papa image that uh, the government can do all things for you. Uh, Ontarians are very resourceful and responsible people and I think that the majority of the Ontarians will, uh, will hear our, our, our platform, will hear the uh, change book and I think they'll embrace it. I'm looking forward to forming government. Awesome. Thank you Ted. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>